Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be comparing Netgear Orbi AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 Mesh against Linksys Velop AX5300 Wi-Fi 6 Mesh system. This will be an extreme coverage and speed comparison between these two. So please stick around till the end of this video to see the results and find out who is the new Wi-Fi 6 Mesh King. We have recently reviewed Orbi Wi-Fi 6 Mesh and Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 Mesh systems. So if you haven't checked out those reviews, I will leave the link in the description below or you can check out on our channel. So if you compare the specs, both Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 and Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 have similar hardware. Both are powered by quad-core CPU running at 2.2GHz, 1GB RAM, 512MB flash, supports tri-band, Wi-Fi 802.11ax mesh, plus 4 1GB LAN ports. But Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 has 2.5 gig WAN port, as compared to Linksys has only 1 gig WAN port. On the other hand, Linksys Velop has USB 3 ports, but Netgear Orbi does not have any USB option. So as we know from our previous reviews of these products, both Orbi and Linksys can cover 5000 square feet house without any issue, as they claim on the paper. But today we are going to test extreme distance coverage between these two mesh systems and see how they compare against each other. So let's get started. We have placed both Orbi and Linksys mesh systems at the same spot in the house. Main routers are in the basement and satellites are on the main floor of the house. For the first test, we are standing close to 30 feet outside the house and we have only single stone wall between us and Orbi and Linksys Wi-Fi 6 satellites. As you can see, we have strong Wi-Fi signals for both mesh systems. The Linksys Wi-Fi 6 is named Linksys 6 and Orbi Wi-Fi 6 is named Orbi 6. Let's first do a connection and speed test for Orbi Wi-Fi 6. Here as you can see Orbi Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull 56 by 40 megabits per second which is very impressive. Now standing at the same spot we are going to switch to Linksys Wi-Fi 6 and do the same test. To my surprise Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull 69 by 77 megabits per second which is an even more impressive. For the first test Linksys Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull ahead. So Linksys Wi-Fi 6 is the winner of the first test. For the second test, we are standing in the backyard of the house and close to 100 feet from both Orbi Wi-Fi 6 and Velop Wi-Fi 6 routers. Let's test Orbi Wi-Fi 6 first. We have strong Wi-Fi signals and Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull an excellent 100 by 86 megabits per second. Now let's switch to Velop Wi-Fi 6 named Linksys 6. And again we have strong signals and Velop Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull an excellent 100 by 74 megabits per second, which is also very impressive, considering these are extreme distance coverage tests. But in the second test, Orbi Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull a little ahead of Velop Wi-Fi 6. So for the second test, Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 is a winner. Now for the third test, we are going to the extreme and standing close to 300 feet from both Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 and Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 satellites. Let's test Linksys Velo Wi-Fi 6 named Linksys 6 first. We have good Wi-Fi signals and Linksys Velo Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull 41 by 30 megabits per second. Again very impressive results. Now let's switch to Orbi Wi-Fi 6. We have again strong signals and Orbi Wi-Fi 6 was able to pull an impressive 51 by 45 megabits per second down and up. This is extremely impressive considering we are standing close to 300 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 satellites. This is mind-blowing results. Now for the final test, we are going to compare the backhaul Wi-Fi transfer speed between both mesh systems. We are going to plug in the local NAS device to both mesh routers via Ethernet. And we are also going to connect both satellites with our desktop on the main floor via Ethernet as well. Then we are going to transfer 6 GB file over backhaul Wi-Fi and see how fast the file will transfer. Just to remind everyone, both Velop AX5300 and Orbi AX6000 uses 2.4 gigabits per second backhaul Wi-Fi connection. So on the paper both are equally fast. So let's start the transfer and see the results. First we are using Velop AX5300 and as you can see on your screen we are getting 80 megabytes per second which is very impressive. Now let's use Orbi AX6000. And as you can see we are also getting 80 megabytes per second transfer speed, which is very impressive as well. So 
So clearly both mesh systems have equally performed in this test. Overall both Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh and Nexus Velo Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems perform extremely well in this review. Both systems deliver excellent coverage and speed in this extreme coverage test. And to be honest, both Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 and Velop Wi-Fi 6 are the winners here. Both are equally impressive, with same hardware with few differences. So the final question is, which one you should buy? My answer is, since both products are backward compatible with their existing mesh lineup, it would benefit you to just buy a new Wi-Fi 6 router unit and add it to your existing mesh setup to improve speed. Both Linksys and Netgear has the best future-proof Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the market. And if you can afford to spend $699, then Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 and Linksys Velo Wi-Fi 6 mesh system is a perfect solution for you. Let me know which Wi-Fi 6 mesh system would you buy in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.